Welcome to Business Connection. I'm Liz Spencer. We have wonderful guests in studio today. I have Abby Cook and Kim Milton, and they're both from Good Therapy. So, Abby, tell me a little bit about you. Um, I am a therapist at Good Therapy. I'm the owner. Um, we've been around for since 2014, wow. and I started on my own. And um, before I knew it, I had a handful of therapists and three different locations. Wow, that's super. Yeah, so it's been a really amazing experience. I bet, I yeah. bet. Kim, when did you join Abby? Yeah, so I am Kim. I am the clinical director okay. at Good Therapy. I'm one of the lead therapists as well. I joined her in 2005. I was one of the first therapists that came on board. And since then, it's just grown to, as Abby said, three different locations in um, Naperville, South Naperville, and Northbrook as well. Well, that's wonderful. So mm -hmm. you must be really meeting a need. So, yes. so tell me about Good Therapy. So Good Therapy has, um, like I said, we have seven therapists here in Naperville and we have two therapists up in Northbrook. Um, we, when I hire the therapist, I look for therapists who have um, unique qualities. Mm -hmm. um, so we have therapists who have their CADC, we have therapists who specialize in couples, um, we have therapists who specialize with little kids, mm -hmm. women's issues. So when a client calls, we have a place to put them. We don't just put them with anybody who's open. We, we specifically have clients who um, we put with those therapists, depending on their needs. That's wonderful. What makes good therapy different? I mean, I love the name, so I think, I think that therapy is good. So now mm -hmm. I think good therapy, I'm like, <laughs> right. wonderful. Mm -hmm. So what, what makes you different? So um, good therapy has a lot of differences, I would like to think. Um, we are very relationship-based, um, so we really work at meeting the client where they're at. Mm -hmm. um, we are, a lot of feedback that we get is that clients like our approach in the sense that we, they feel like we're their friend. Mm -hmm. Obviously we're not, mm -hmm. but um, they feel comfortable enough for us, with us that um, they're able to share whatever they are feeling. Okay. Um, but we do, we get the feedback that they really feel connected to us like a friendship. That's wonderful. Kim, it, mm -hmm. and I also think that you guys are, you know, you, you don't look like therapists. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> That's one of the points I was going to make that, you know, we do kind of like normalize the setting. And mm -hmm. no, we kind of show up in jeans and a t-shirt. I think I mentioned this is probably the most dressy that we get yeah. for things like this. But yeah, we just show up and we are there with the client. And I think a lot of times I get feedback that um, people will say, oh, you're not in a suit or you're not in this. And mm -hmm. oh, I can relate to you. Oh, okay. I could wear this too. Okay. And I think it makes that dish difference right in the initial session. Mm -hmm. I think that's when we kind of connect with clients. Yeah. Now, oftentimes people think, oh, I, I should I should talk to someone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and and then it stops there because no one knows what to do. Right. What what should, when I think that, I should talk to someone, it usually means I need to. Right. How do I get started? Yeah. So I think the best approach is for that client to really take the time to go online or talk with people if they're comfortable doing that, to find um, some referrals that might suit their needs, um, not just to find any therapist. So it's really important that the therapist has the specialty that they're looking for. Mm -hmm. um, once the therapist give, finds out who they want to, to call, um, they call us. I actually am the one who answers the phone, um, and I don't let any of my other therapists <laughs> take mm -hmm. on this role. Um, it's important to me that I'm actually the one who's you know knowing where the clients are going and mm -hmm. making sure everything's going okay in that and regard. Especially for after hours, we do have a 24-hour service, so okay. if someone calls, say even at midnight, mm -hmm. there is someone who's going to answer, wow. and they're going to take on that assessment yeah. and decide, and then let us know in the morning who Abby can call yeah. back and talk with. And so then we, someone. yeah, we call back immediately. Mm -hmm. um, we, we then, I usually have about a 20-minute phone conversation with them to really get a sense of what they're going through, and then I take the time to figure out which therapist I want them to be with. So I usually will call them back within a couple of hours and assess where I think they would be a good fit. Wow. So so they get that initial calming voice of you right yes. off the top. Yes. So, All the time. Yes. Right, which I'm sure drops them down a little bit so mm -hmm. you can really figure out what's going on. Yeah. So when I when I arrive that first session I think we all fear that too. So there's two big steps to mm -hmm. get us going in yes. this process right. to 
the call and talk to you, and then it's that first meeting. What what should I expect? Absolutely. Well, I mean, it's always going to be nerve wracking. I mm-hmm. think any initial session with anyone in any situation is nerve wracking. But what we do is we sit there and we meet the client where they're at. So if they are sitting there and they want to talk freely, we let them just talk freely, and we'll just kind of interject and kind of lead some questions. If not, we also have the ability, and a lot of our therapists do as well. They have the ability to ask those more pointed questions and maybe start to lead and direct and you know see where they want to go and not everything's going to be solved in that first session but at least it's going to get things on the table and I usually will ask the client um, you know I I notice that you're a little bit nervous would you prefer if I ask you the Mm -hmm. questions Um, because I have lots of them (laughs) Um, and if um, you know a lot of times they'll say yeah that would be much easier for me if you can ask me the questions and I'm okay with with that um, but we're really in tune to where the client's at, so we know that if a client is coming in and they're not, they're not shy, um, or if they're a little more timid, so we really are in tune to that. Kim, you, you mentioned that um, that you get them talking. That this is a relationship. Am I right? right. That you're not going to solve everything, as you said in that Absolutely first one. Not. So, so when someone starts this, it is really about building that relationship mm-hmm. that may continue for a while, or, or and then stop off. But I don't know how long I'm going to be with you, and I don't know how that works. Yeah, so we explain that at the first session. Mm -hmm. So we make sure they understand that this is not a rush Mm -hmm. and that it shouldn't be a rush, Um, that we don't really dive into deep things until we feel that we have a relationship with the client because the, with them. yeah the client Absolutely. is just it's not going to want to talk want to communicate if they don't feel connected to us and relationships take a long time um, mm-hmm. so i think we we really just kind of go where the client's at it, it some clients it could take a good month for them to actually feel comfortable i mean mm-hmm. i've had clients who i've been with for 6 months and all of a sudden i find out something that i'm like oh my god i can't believe i've been with you for 6 mm-hmm. months and i'm just finding Finding this out so it takes people a really long time and that's okay and a lot of times in those situations clients will say you know well it took a while because I also wanted to know if I could trust you and I mm-hmm. wanted to see if you know perhaps you could either handle what I'm gonna tell you and that's fine and I get that and I think sometimes when um, therapy tends to start to slow down, that's also a really good indicator to reassess those goals and see if the original goal you came in on, is that still the same or are there other things that have crept up or things that now you're saying, oh, I really do want to work on this. I like having this third person relationship. Right. Well, because I think you often, um, if we come in with anxiety or depression, that's probably going to be with us for the rest of our lives. But but what we're doing is establishing a relationship and you're teaching us some coping mechanisms. So maybe at this time in my life I'm coping well, but if I'm not, then I got you guys. I can say, hey, Abby, it's it's Liz again. You know, right. it, we haven't talked in six right. months, but hey, I'm having a problem. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, so. the holidays might be really stressful. Right. They are for people. But right. if you're starting, say, in June, we're not at the holidays yet. Mm-hmm. We're not in the midst of that November December season. So absolutely not. But yeah. it's nice to already have that relationship established and having someone there to bounce things off of. Yeah. Why should somebody think about therapy? Why is it a good idea to to have a relationship and and to have a friend, in this case, a neutral friend <laughs> right. in your corner? You know, I think that everybody has a scenario that comes up that can be traumatizing or stressful. Um, and if you can build a relationship with somebody who, you know what, if you if something comes up in your life and you need to give them a call, um, you can call them and get in and you don't have to worry about building that relationship. You already have it. Um, so I think, you know, starting as soon as you can. So when those moments come up, you're not like in a panic trying to figure out how do I handle this you, you know you have a relationship with someone that you can call right and we're neutral I mean we get to be that neutral ground where you can bounce off all these ideas and we don't know your friend sister brother whomever it is in your family that is really kind of irking you at this moment we don't know them and we get to be that neutral and say okay but maybe do they have a point or are there some other ideas here that they're talking about or you know also validate what they're talking about and those feelings mm-hmm. so I think that's a definite benefit to coming. Well, I, I think, um, Abby, you have done a great job that you Thank named you. it well. At therapy. And it's, it's good to have good. therapy. So yeah. in this case, it's good therapy. So mm-hmm. thank you for thank what you, you do. Thank you for making it thank accessible you. to people by being so friendly and warm and casual. It's thank important. You. You're doing important work. Thank you. We're going to be right back with more Business Connections. Stay tuned. 